the X Lounge. This is Brian, your host. In this video, we're going to review and look inside AMT's uh, 65 El Camino with custom camper. This is kit number 1364. As usual, we will won't look at the box details because you can see that in the store. We're going to jump right into, without any fanfare, what's inside. So there's what we see upon opening. A chrome tree. Two chrome trees. Big chrome tree, little chrome tree. The big chrome tree has some craggers on it and looks like a custom grill. That's interesting. Very concave. Some chrome headers in two different styles. Another set of, uh, well, those would be hubcaps like a stock uh, grill there. Some more engine parts. I don't, I'm seeing a tiny little bit of factory dust underneath the chrome. Not much though. There's actually quite a bit of it on this air cleaner though. Not enough to scare a person away. smaller chrome tree has a blower on it and some other engine parts the blower uh, accoutrement here's the glass I'm gonna leave it in there uh oh nope there's loose parts I better get it out of there don't want them rattling around for the next however many years it takes me to get to this kit where to go? There it is. Okay, so the glass. There is a. That's either a hair or a scratch. This will be the second one in a row. That is a scratch. Uh, let's see if see if I can focus in on that. right there on the front. Maybe easily polished out, but I'd rather not if I didn't have to. Uh, like I said, that's that's two in a row that have been scratched. Okay, there's the headlights that have fallen off. I'll put them in here separately so that there's a buffer in betwixt. There's the, there's the red clear parts. Okay, we've got some tires here. These are called wide ovals. Uh, they got some pretty realistic looking tread on them. I don't see a seam. And then we've got another set and a half. We've got some front wheels that have some good looking tread on them. I cannot see a seam in these either. And some slicks that have a really awesome texture to them. Hmm. Okay, so that's cool. Here's our body. Ah, oh, exhausting. Axle is 
molded in, so is the some of the suspension on the front. That's disappointing. But uh, it's a unique, uh, it's a unique subject, so I guess you got to put up with stuff. Uh, there's some big, there's some big extruder pin marks. Uh, they don't stick up too far, but you'd still have to uh, work on those to get them uh, so that they weren't viewable. Uh, details a little light on the sides of the interior door. Alright, so there's our body. Top of that's a little roughed up with something. Looks like I can scratch it off though. Some kind of factory schmutz. That spot there, I don't know if you can see that is a... I guess that's an air bubble or something. It doesn't... it's not through on the other side. It's not light, so... It's not a bubble, it's a... I don't know, some kind of foreign particulate in there. There's something else. There's another one. That's some, this one's right on the surface, though. I have no idea if that's plastic or not. There's something else there. Okay, I don't know that those things are anything that's going to show up in the final product. But I've never seen something like that before. Not embedded for materials. Hmm. Okay, first box of parts. First box of first bag of, of parts. Uh, we've got a pair of seats that are. Uh, I mean, they do have some texture to them, but I mean, we all know that car seats don't go all the way to the ground. The hood has got some. Some kind of dirt on it that just wiped off. Some flash around the front of that. Some flash on all of these parts. Uh, a tiny little radiator. A firewall with wires molded on. Two license plates with some kind of a symbol on them. I don't know what that is. I guess the seats were here. And we're back. Uh, there was a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Uh, the camera stopped filming. I don't know for sure when. I'm going to go back to the point where I talked about this sprue. And hopefully that's where I uh, left off at. So primarily this is engine parts. This looks like the front suspension. Look, I don't know why it's blocky like that. Maybe I'll find out in the instructions. Uh, the uh, the valve covers say 327. Really nice carburetors there. They got some good detail to them. A couple of wheels there, I'm assuming they're part of the camper shell. And a couple of hard hats, JH and BB. I don't know who those two guys are. Alright, so then we've got the... This is the glass for the uh, trailer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows in this thing. 
some more headlights, and uh, I guess that's that's grill glass for that custom grill that we saw earlier. Here we have the back of the camper. Some fairly decent texture there. It's got a license plate that's already uh, got markings engraved into or cast into it. This must be the uh, the front portion. Here we have uh, the dashboard. It looks pretty good. I was going to say there was a giant seam there, but it's part of the glove box. The steering wheel looks nice. It's got a little bit of flash, but it's fairly thin. It's going to be a challenge getting it off of the sprue. I have to saw that one off. Here's another steering wheel, the sides for the camper, and the top. What was next? Okay. Big decal sheet. Big decal sheet. Drag Camino 327 blown. Got some pictures of uh, of a gasser with the camper on it. Nationals or bust. And some racing stripes. I do see there are some dashboard uh, dials. Always like to see that, and some trim, some trim decals. And of course, a couple license plates. That's always good. If you don't use them on this car, you stick them to the wall of your uh, of your scale garage. Okay. Start with our instructions. Uh, these are looking fairly uh, vintage, I guess you would say. This is this is a vintage set of instructions. There may be three different options as far as the engine goes. And oh, that's that blocky. Suspension is the front drag suspension assembly. Yeah, uh, I don't know that I'm going to be using that. I don't even know that I'm going to be using that chassis. Hmm. All right, so be that as it may, here's our interior. We've got the first showing of a couple custom parts. And a really long console. You've got to love that. At least the battery and the the windshield washer jar aren't molded on and that tall. And some final assemblies. Uh, there's some custom work. That does it for the instructions okay well that's everything that's in the box of this kit this one they just recently uh, uh, reboxed remolded uh, of course the uh, the molds are fairly outdated but if you want a subject like this uh, this is the route you're gonna have to take altogether it's not a it's not a bad kit there's plenty of extras in there the weight of this thing is uh, it's 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 a hair bit more than a regular kit. You can tell there's something else in there. I mean, you get two and a half sets of tires and the camper body, and the the, uh, the stock and custom options that you're either going to build into the into the vehicle or put in your spares box. So there is you do get quite a bang for the buck. However, uh, 
windshield was scratched and uh, a lot of the undercarriage is already molded on which isn't too awful big of a deal because how often does somebody look under there not very but when I'm building it I wanted I want to do all that stuff you know I want to build that I want to build the suspension and the uh, I want to do uh, whatever with the exhaust if you want to do like it shows here on the side the exhaust coming out there if you do that option what are you going to do with the with the exhaust pipes that are already molded on I don't know you're gonna to have to grind them off I guess so anyhow just a couple little just a couple little quibbles on that other than that it's a it it's a it's a good bang for the buck you get a buttload of details uh, decals which that's always a plus when you're looking around to uh, when you're looking around for something else to throw on another vehicle all in all I'm happy with it and you probably will be too. Subscribe if you would like. Hit that bell notification and you will be alerted when our next video is released. Thanks for watching and God bless. Party.